children, welcome back to class. Before we start, we have to pray. Everyone close your eyes. Let's have a word of prayer. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for every child that will be listening. And we ask for mercy that they will understand all they will be taught. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Okay, children, our topic today is the Word of God. But before we start the main class, I would like us to worship the Lord and dance unto Him. And please, don't forget to dance and sing along. children okay who can guess our topic for today the word of god that is the topic for today's class the word of god okay good the word of god was written in the bible the word of god was written in a book called the bible the word of god was written in a book called the Bible. Good. The Word of God has two major parts. We have the Old Testament and the New Testament. Can I, can I say that again? The Old Testament and the New Testament. The Word of God in the Bible has several books in it. Several books. We have the book of Genesis. We have Exodus, Esther, the book of Daniel. We have the Proverbs. We have Psalm. And many, many other books that were written by holy men of God. All right, children. The holy men of God are the men that wrote the books. On the Bible. How many of you can remember the story of the Godhead? God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. God the Holy Spirit, we go to God the Father and the Son and get the words from them. He would give it to the only men of God who wrote the word inside the book called the Bible. He will give it to them. Why? Because they can hear the God, the Holy Spirit. The only men of God can hear the Holy Spirit. We have not seen the Holy Spirit with our physical eyes, but we can hear him speak to our heart through our spirit. Also, can you remember that man has a tripartite being? What I mean is, 
Man is a spirit. He has a soul and lives in a body. Okay. The Holy Spirit speaks to our hearts through our spirits. The Holy Spirit in the time past spoke to the only men of God who wrote the Bible. They can hear the Holy Spirit speaks to them. And they wrote it down in the book called the Bible. Who are these holy men of God? We know them. We have Moses, we have Paul, we have John, we have David, we have all of them, just to mention few. These are holy men of God. They can hear the Holy Spirit speaks to them and they wrote everything down so that we can be blessed. Now, children, can we talk about the word of God. Remember the story of the Godhead. The word of God comes from God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit will take these words to the holy men of God. The Bible is meant to bless us the Bible is meant to bless our hearts through the word of God that was written inside it. Many things, there are many things the word of God will do for us. Number one, the word of God will make us to overcome sin. All the lies, the stealing that you do, is not good. The word of God will help you to overcome sin in your heart. The word of God will make you to know the truth about God and not the lies from the devil, Satan. The word of God will also teach you and correct you whenever you do wrong things like abusing your friends, fighting with your friends, stealing, lying to mommy and daddy. The word of God will also teach you how to obey God's word so that you can grow. Do you know how we have to eat so that our body can grow? So also we need to study the Bible so that our soul can grow and be like God. How many of you want to be like God? I want to be like God. So children, you need to study the word of God so that you can grow well like children of God. These are the importance of studying the word of God. The word of God also help you to be strong and fight against Satan. All right, children. In conclusion, the word of God will give us life. The same life that is in the Father and in the Son and in the Spirit. The Word of God, when you study it and you obey it, you will have life. How many of you want the life of God? I want to have the life of God. All right, children. This is the Word of God that will give you life in your soul and your spirit. I know today you are blessed and I want you to also teach your other fellow friends about the word of God. 
Thank you, children, for watching. Thank you, children, for listening. Okay? Hope to see you in the next class. God bless you.